How's it going, ladies and Bruce? This is on Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to the Inheritance of Crimson Manor. It's time for us to carry on because I'm too excited to get back into this and uh, see what we can find. We got a lot of uh, bits and pieces we haven't used yet, so we need to get in there and use them. She went to the seamstress to buy some buy him some linen, but when she came back, the dog was a spinning. <laughs> that silly pooch. What will he get up to next? Anyway, what is this? Dress and flesh. Hmm, lovely. This is a nice dress. A beautiful silver choker seems to be incomplete. Yeah, we need like a gem to stick in it. Cool. The original design of the beautiful crimson dress. Crimson dress, crimson manner. Uh, is there nothing in here to interact with? Jesus Christ, I nearly pooed my pants. You know, there's... There appears to be nothing in this room. Seems very strange. You know, considering. Seems important. Whatever. Shortcut? Oh, well, while we're here, we have a gear for you. I think this one is the one we need here. Oh! The attic? I'm guessing that's the way to the attic. Cool. Thanks. Man, this game is so good. <laughs> so good. It's locked. Huh. Uh, do you got anything for me? No, nothing. No hints, no nothing. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, there's more up. Oh, that was the one that said the stars or whatever. Well, we'll head up there shortly. We still haven't used that crown key even once. Shears. Deep down in the wet dark chamber, you will find the roots of our family and the key to your future. Take a photo of that. That's the cellar. Uh, we haven't found the cellar yet, but I assume that the, um, the service key will let us into the cellar. It would make sense, anyway. This afternoon I've been carefully star starring at a- staring, I think, at a bottle of rat poison. I held it in my hands for a few minutes. I can't help but think this is a quick way out to end this nightmare. But once again, fear has overcome me. Once again, I have fallen to the ground. Once again, I've been unable to help myself or my family. I wish I could be braver. K.S. Who's KS? Rat poison. Full moon nightmare. Alright, let's head on up. This is the thing we need to be messing around with, right? Do we have to match this pattern here? God damn it. Alright. Feels like it should almost be right, but we'll come back to it. We've got a lot of other things to still do anyway, so it's not a major. We don't need to push through this one specifically first. Although I don't like leaving it half finished, even though I like I know the solutions right there. It's doable. Actually, I'm not sure what we can do next. I do want to solve that. I missed this somehow. Catherine Strange, 1865. Dear Miss C Katharina, the Royal Academy of Arts, we are grateful to the interests of our aspiring students to enter this institution. Unfortunately, on this occasion, we must inform you, you do not meet the expectations or artistic requirements that are required to enter our prestigious academy. I see. Well, I'm sure she's not stoked about that, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess we should need to finish uh, checking this place out. I'm not sure we've checked out all the rooms here. Been in there. Been in there. These are all drawers too. I didn't even notice these. Nothing. So many drawers to open that have nothing inside. Oh, hello. Hmm. 
Who needs a key, man? Keys are for suckers. Anyway, moving on. Crimson formula dosage. Give children two drops after each meal and one before bed. The wine cellar key. Which way is the wine cellar? Ugh, is that that crimson death shit? Which way is down to the wine cellar then? Oh man, we haven't even explored this bit yet. This is the wine cellar. See, we don't need to worry about solving space puzzles right now. We got other shit to do. It's all good. There's something about a key here in the wine cellar as well. Something about barrels, right? Oh my gosh. Boiler safety instructions. In the case of a steam leak, set the gauge pressure to 475p to transfer steam to the secondary pressure release pipes. Rotate valves upwards to increase pressure or downward to decrease it. Never exceed 500p or get below 0p or the pressure system will reset itself. 475. Where do we... Which are the valves? Where are the valves? In here? I'll never forget our last travels together. That day in London. That month in Paris and that year in Rome. Oh man. Should have paid more attention to those notes, huh? God damn it. Photo. Another thing to check out. I'm gonna have to go over notes we've already looked at. The cask of Amontillado. Sure. Yeah. Huh? Let me out. So that's the key, that's the solution for that. Ow, I got ouched. Where are the valves we're missing with them? It's these. Okay. So that's 150. Can we set it down again? No. 425? Too much. 350. 250. Either of these are too much. One of these is like really, really high. That could be it. Oh man. These are no good. That's too much. Oh, it worked. What? Oh, man, I could not figure that out. Well, I mean, I did figure it out, but it was just by trial and error. Hmm. Is that something? Rome Express. Oh, here we go. That day in Rome, or month in Rome, or year in Rome, it doesn't matter. Right? That's something. You can work with that. Probably a lot of notes we need to go back over still, which is kind of annoying and unfortunate. But we don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Oh, here we go. London to Paris. It is going in the journal, but... When I looked in the journal for stuff I need, I often don't find what I'm looking for. I think I broke it. Here we go. Le Paris Express from Paris to Rome. All 
Alright, that should be what we need, right? That's in here, right? The day in London, the month in Paris, and the year in Rome. Day in London, month in Paris, year in Rome. London, Paris, Rome. Okay, so. From Rome to Paris. From London to Paris. So this must be London here. October 3rd. London. Paris will be this one that's like Le Paris Express. Um, February. Careful cat. And then Rome will be this one. Rome Express. 80, 1882. So 82. Hell yeah! Corkscrew. Very nice. You are very close. A book in my chamber is the key to the life, the work of my life. Explore the master bedroom. Oh, it's that thing. I never figured that one out. The wisdom of this literous, literary work will help you understand my motives and their consequences. A book in my chamber. What book? It's not enough information. Don't like it. Something about a key in here still, right? Oh, that's for the, um... <laughs> for that safe that we just saw a minute ago that we had no clue for. 4517. What is this? Oh, hang on. F. Put it back. F. That seal meant that there's something to look at. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> what is the goal here? Do they just have to match up all the way around, or...? Like, I'm just pointing swords to the middle. Is that good? Probably not. No, probably not. Maybe we need it to match on each side. Like, one to one. Like, this sword here is the same as this sword here. Right? And then this knight helmet is the same as this knight helmet. This crown is the same as that crown. You know what I mean? They have to match to the other side. It's like a police badge thing. This is like the club's thing. Scutcheon. The shield uses the base to bear a coat of arms. Is that the coat of arms key? Can I use that as the... as the key to the coat of arms thing? I wonder. That'll be what it said about, um... Shit, what did it say? Something about whatever's in there being the key to something. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I think. I don't know about that one still. We still don't really have what we need for that uh, safe either, but... Looks like it's going to be four numbers. And we know it starts with 45 this way, 17 this way. But where is the rest of the, uh... Where's the rest of the code? We've been through all of here. It's so easy to hide stuff though, you know? So easy. Because this place is humongous as well, so... I guess I have to come back. Uh, for now, we'll just keep moving. 
Continually moving seems to do stuff. Oh, here we go. 45, 17, 30, 22. 45, 17, 30, 22. 45, 17, 30, 22. Okay, so 45, 30, 30. there. Wait, is that right? I think so. 17. 30. Twenty-two. Okay. Heraldic emblem. The relief of a lion. Dude, we can just about open every fucking door now. We got the coat of arms, we got the lion, we got everything. I still don't know how to solve the uh the puzzle up in the in the in the attic, but you know. Still, oh, we never figured this one out either. Let me just uh, see if there's something here we can see. Maybe it's to do with what this guy said. Maybe we need a mask for him first and then, or for her, and that'll give us the answer to, to this. Just a guess. We will see. But now we have a lot of new areas to explore. <laughs> Coat of arms. Do it. Ah. Oh. Doesn't work? Oh. The base to bear a coat of arms. Huh. Oh, what about this corkscrew? Still quite a lot I don't understand. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We try the lion head. I think we need like other parts to it. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's not complete as is. Which is unfortunate, but you know. We don't want it to be too easy now, do we? So we need to go to that room that has the is it the library that has that room? No, it's the master bedroom they said. Oh, we need to figure these out, too. Like, I have, uh, hang on, let me just look at the... The ones I took a photo of. I only have a couple. Uh... Because I didn't take them when I first saw them. So, the wedding march, Wagner, he looks at the piano. Okay, so Wagner looks at the piano. Is that right? It's not really the piano. I mean, it's kind of the piano. Sure. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Buck. He looks at Brahms. And that's him, so... Maybe not that far. <laughs> Probably like that. And then we can brute force this one because the other two should already be right. By fixing the statues in the correct order, a metal crank falls down the chimney. Chimney. Ah. That crank's for that thing over there. This here, right? Now. What do we do? Is this like a... What was that? Oh, I see. It's like a number lock as well. It's very similar to this... 
I've done many of these puzzles already. We've done many of these. Slight variations on each other, but... Ah, of course. So it's a memory thing, you just have to remember... It's back this way. No! Shit! Sorry. My memory not so good. And then two this way. And then go back the other way. Maybe two the other way, maybe one the other way. It's probably one because it's the last two were two the other ways. So got my fingers crossed that this is gonna be it. Come on. Yes. And the un and we get Musical box ballerina. The ballerina of a music box made of metal and fine white and red marble. Okay. I don't even... I don't think I've come across anything that looks like it would even need that, but... It's weird that you can pick that one up. All the other paintings you can't pick up, but that one you can pick up. Alright, where's the master bedroom? Upstairs? Let's head upstairs, see if we can figure out what we're doing in this master bedroom thing, right? Oh, master bedroom's the other side. Coat of arms, again. I know this ain't gonna work, but I still wanna try it. Yes. It does not work, you are correct. Um, <laughs> maybe we can work our way around anyway. So we haven't been able to get to the master bedroom yet, have we? This is back to the servants area. That's the attic. We still need to finish solving that attic puzzle. Right, what does our thing say? Explore the master bedroom and find Mr. Strange secret research. I haven't used a hint yet in this entire game. Which is, uh, means it's designed pretty well. I haven't, where did that, um, there's that stack of books. The puzzle that was like the rotating stack of books. I can't even remember where I saw it. I guess it must be the library, right? That would make sense. Let's hit the library. Hit the old books. See if we can figure out uh, what's happening over there. Not ready to go in there yet. Yeah, this one here. This is what it was pointing at. It was saying, oh man, I don't know. Could be this. How many is that across? It's six. Oh, this is seven though. So it's probably not that. Yeah, despite the fact that it told me to do this, it's, there's not really any hints in how to get it done. Should we grab a hint? We are at the end of the episode and I would like to um, you know, solve something. Let's give it a hint. The cleaning schedule of the mansion service staff seems to coincide with the levers of the golden box in the dining room. Oh, okay. We're in the wrong place then. Where's the dining room? It's in the seven series again, eh? Oh, I know the one that it means. Man. I feel bad about grabbing a hint, too. Because it's so obvious when you think about it. It's just not the puzzle that I was running into at, the, at that particular moment. But yes, I understand now. Is this the dining room? Yeah. This one here. It's seven doodakies. 
the third one down and the fifth one down. And that should be it. Oop. So that one, that one. Okay, we got a crusader dude. Very nice. We still need a few more of those, though, don't we? Pretty sure we still need a few more of those. Can I, um... Jesus Christ. It's freaking out a little. Hmm. No. Oh, we can rotate these. Not sure that's super helpful, but... We never figured out where this crown key goes. We can go put that in the music room. Um, I guess it's just about time to wrap this episode up. In this room, here. Oh, is that it? Slide night. Okay, but... Uh... So we got all the knives, we just need to know what order they go in then. How are we meant to know what order they go in? This is like a train turntable, right? So we can move them around. Pop them there. We can do whatever. But I have no idea how they're meant to be arranged, and I don't think we've been seen anything regarding a hint for that at this stage. Still, that's big. What does this say? Yeah. Well then, I suppose it's time for us to wrap this one up, because we must be out of time for today. I apologise if it ends up being a bit short, or far too long, <laughs> whichever. Um, but I'm excited to get back into it as soon as possible, because I'm having a great time. This place is so fun to explore. It's like a maze. It's it, like the graphics are real nice. Though it's not optimized really, really well, because I get a few stutters. Which, you know, shouldn't really happen on a 3080. Just saying. Um, but still, like the puzzles are really well designed. The place is really fun to explore. Everything looks nice, everything's laid out nice, and it seems to have an interesting story. It's obviously going to be bad. Obviously, the guy who was in charge is a total psycho and did bad shit. But, uh, we'll see what bad shit later on, I suppose. Till then, it'd be guys. Judith, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.